Welcome to Holton's Fix It 101. Today we are going to talk about this. Welcome back. Now, I've got this in front of me. This is the 18 volt lithium ion EXT cordless jigsaw from our friends over at uh, Evolution Tools. Now, they sent this to me together with the uh, circular saw to do a review on, and I'm very, very pleased with the circular saw. So, let's unbox this and uh, let's we'll see how far we get with this because. I've also got another uh, cordless jigsaw here and later on we'll bring those two up and we'll have a quick comparison between the two to see where, how good this is stacks up against the other one that I have. Right, that's, uh, and I've also got the overhead camera as so we'll be able to see what we're doing on the overhead. So let's bring that into view, there we go, and what we got in here. Well, we have a packet of uh, Evolution t uh, blades to actually go in it. I'll show you there to the camera as well. Um, so that's that's a good thing. And these are multi steel aluminium wood, so they're, they like their normal circular saws as well. You can use these on all three, so that's that's a good thing. We have a battery, two-year guarantee, two-year guarantee on the battery. Um, 18 volt lithium ion EXT, uh, 2 amp power battery with this, so 2 amp power battery. I'm very very pleased with that. Let's just take that out of the take that out of the box. Um, uh, the other, the, obviously the the uh, cord, cordless uh, jigsaw that had a 4 amp power battery, so a 2 amp power battery. There's you know running a jigsaw. There's plenty of juice actually um in the uh in that it's, yeah it's fully charged so it has a battery indicator so i'm glad to see that they they put that on there that's good i don't know, quite know what this it's a bit it feels a bit empty to tell the truth and a small uh whatever that is yeah i'll put that to one side and what we got in here uh obviously there's some instructions uh oh that's the ones for the circle of saw that i've i've mixed up i think they they should be going over there and that's just an empty box right and what we got here oh this is the charger we have the have the charger all, all in its own box which i got another one anyway for i uh, have for the circular saw uh same same style as everything else oh and it tells you on here um, what, what it can charge too is 2 amp hours it do it in 30 minutes uh, 4 amp hours it do in 50 minutes uh, 5 amp hours it do in 60 minutes and it, apparently they do an 8 amp, 8, 8 amp hour battery it'll do that in 95 minutes it'll rapid charge it so you know that, that's good single dock again so is, is that uh, it is, by the looks of the uh, picture on the front uh, it's exactly the same as the one for the uh, circular saw, so I'm not going to bother to un un undo that. But here's the star of the show here. I get rid of that box out of the way. Excuse me. All right, and here's the star of the show, which is the jigsaw himself. Oh, well, that looks that looks quite uh, quite a nice little saw. It's not very heavy in your hand. I don't know what it's like with the battery, and I'll, t I'll try that in a minute. But it has a, a plastic uh, inlay bottom on here, so it uh, run over run over your over wood or metal or whatever you're you're doing. It's four settings for the uh, pendulum action. You just see that on the camera above. I hope you can. And uh, oh yeah, it has a 
as the uh, button on here for, for a safety lock. Um, don't quite know. Uh, yeah, ooh. Oh yeah, that comes back. So it inserts a blade. You can just see it on the on the top camera there. So uh, oh, that looks good. Oh, oh and there's a, a lever at the back here for changing the width for this. Now, how does this work? Oh, all right, okay. That was a bit clunky, but I dare say after a little bit of use, I, I dare say you get used to it. And that oh, just snaps into place like that. Oh, well done. Well, what can I say? It, for their first um, outing as a, you know, for a, a jigsaw, that, that Evolution do do other jigsaws on their website, and they also do make other jigsaw, but they made the cordless. This is the first, as I believe, this is the first cordless jigsaw that they've made, and uh, it's glad to see that they 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 made it. The only unfortunately is is brushed, not brushless, so. But uh, I'm sure that that is something that uh, in later on um, down the road that uh, Evolution are going to address, go into the cordless, uh, you know, the, sorry, the brushless um, versions of their of their tools. But uh, they've got a bearing on here, to bearing guide to to guide the blade as well. It doesn't have a. I haven't seen one, but I dare say you'd be able to use the one off of the uh, circular saw. A guide on the front here. I haven't seen one, but uh, I don't say I don't say that there, is, there isn't one. Uh, maybe there is. Uh, maybe it's in this other box that I've chucked away. Nope, there's not one in there either. Uh, maybe there is a guide, but I I can't I can't find it at the moment. It probably has probably is one. A guide that goes through here. That's probably what that little uh, thumb screw was for. But uh, let's throw the throw the battery in there. Um, as I as I remember, it is a little tight. Oh yeah, it is. But it, it's locked in, and to be honest with you, it, it's not that heavy in your hand either. Let's uh, just check. Oh, oh, that's nice. It's that's immediately stop. That's that's immediate stop on that. I like that. Yep, and it's not that heavy, so very very good for for what it is. And to be honest with you, for the price, you know, this bearing in mind is the kit version uh, because you get the battery and the charger. They do um, have this on their website as the um, as a bare tool. Um, but uh, if you can get it in a kit, then, you know, good on you because, you know, you're getting everything that you actually need. Um, but uh, bear, in, bear that in mind. That these batteries, as I said before, are compatible with the uh, Screwfix or Bower range of cordless tools. So you can actually use your Urbauer pa uh, batteries actually in this this tool and any other um, cordless tool that from the Evolution lineup. So uh, you know, and vice versa, you can use this in your Urbauer tools as well. But uh, for two amp hours, I think there's plenty of power actually in there to actually run this. So no problems whatsoever. I think that is very, very good. And uh, and you can see on the on the on the top camera up there, we got some uh, good shots up there of of, of the actual um, machine as well. And I think for their first outing, they've they, they've achieved that very well. It's a, a, a nice nice base on here. It's not none of that pressed steel stuff. So they, they've they've made a nice base on here. Um, you know, plastic underneath. That that obviously that could get damaged over the over the over the course of time. But there's nothing stopping you from getting this base in in actually making something else or even 3d printing something if you if you if you're that way you know if you have that facility you can do that um let's see if i can get a blade in here um i've taken the battery off to make sure the blade it, um, we're safe let's see if we can put one on they're quite long blades as well they you know i've always see that on the on there they're quite long blades they're what well, a good you know four and a half maybe five inches long these these blades are so they're, they're, and they're the T, T top um, blades as well, so they're they're a quick insert on on here. Let's see if we can put one of these in here. Uh, and 
yeah, it's another one, that feature. Yeah. It's another one. I'll work that one out anyway, but uh, I'm sure that's just something that I'm just doing there. I've only just got it out of the box, so you know, I'll, I'll work that one out. But I will be doing another video on this anyway, um, the video of actual in use. So uh, you know, there's no no big deal there. But anyway, um, let's um, compare it to the other version of a cordless. Um, jigsaw that I have. Aha. I'm going to compare it to this. Now, this obviously is made by DeWalt being black and yellow. Um, but the thing is between these two here that this is at least twice the price of that but this is you're buying this as bare tool at twice the price of what this is as a kit. So they've brought, they really have kept the price of this down. Now, whether that translates into, you know, this is a, this obviously is a, a better tool or what, I've yet to test this and I will be doing that in another video. So stay subscribed for that. So this obviously is, you know, twice that price. It has more or less the same features as what this does. Um, it has, and I'll show you on the top camera up there, it has a lever here for adjusting the, the base plate here. And so, and, so, and so does this one. This one is a much, much lighter tool. But whether that is because this has got the, the, um, a lot more internals, I wouldn't know. But it's certainly a lot heavier at the front here because this is a lot more beefed up in, in the actual mechanism here. This is all metal at the front. And as you can see, I'll show you on the camera up there, it's the old, uh, it's the locomotive looking fronted one. Um, I know they do other versions of it now. Um, but this this is not this is not uh, brushless either, so it's a good comparison to have with this. Um, obviously, you know this is way 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 more expensive. This one has an, un an unlocking switch to switch it on. I'll switch it. On. I'll show you on the on there up there, uh, and you can't can't switch it on anymore. This one you have to push the slider to the side and then you can switch it on. I'll show you at the top there as well. But uh, in this one also on the side here has a puffer mode um, that you can switch on and off. A puffer mode is where it's got a little tiny little blower inside that actually blows all the dust. As you're, as you're cutting it actually blows the dust away. This one doesn't have any of those sort of features but you, you know what's the stopping you from going like that now and again and blowing the dust away it's no big deal you know i've got one on my on my big bosch and i don't matter whether i got it switched on or switched off it don't make a difference to be honest with you you're still going like that and blowing the dust out of the way so you know it, it's it that that feature is a non-feature to me you know, but this one, as I said, is a lot more expensive. And obviously this comes across here for inserting your blades. It allows you to insert your blades. This one, you have to dig down in, in sort of like in the there. But, you know, I think for, for Evolution's first sort of outing in the cordless jigsaw range, I think they've, they, they have actually done extremely well, um, you know, what else could I say about this? You know, it is cordless, so you can take it with you, you know, and it is it's light enough to, to have in your hand. I could have this in my hand for, you know, a good, a good portion of the day working with it. This one, you know, I would know that I've got it in my hand and I'd be glad to put it down, even though it being DeWalt and it, this one will probably last you know a lot longer than this I, I i wouldn't know what the longevity of it all is but obviously there's testing and things like that that they've done um how long this one would last i wouldn't i wouldn't hazard a guess at the moment because obviously it's a new tool new to new to uh evolution as well so anyway if you would like to buy one of these anyway 
from our um, friends at uh, Evolution Tools, hop on over to their website and for up to the end of May 2022, uh, you can get 10% off at the checkout by using my affiliate code, which is Holton's Fix It 101. Now, that all helps out you guys out there who wants to buy one of these and to, to help in your workshop or whether you're out on the site or whatever, you, whatever you're going to be doing. It all helps. So in, in the desperate times at the moment with uh, uh, you know prices and of everything going up. So uh, I will uh, see you again on the next one. But in the meantime, please click on that like on that video and uh, subscribe to the channel. It all helps me out. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Me again. I've just tried off camera, I've just tried to insert the blades in here. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I will come back in about a month's time after I've used this tool for a little while and uh, I will give you my thoughts. Being such a, a, a new tool by Evolution, obviously I've got to have a little look around it a bit more and use it a little bit more than just getting it out the box. Um, so I will come back in about a month's time and tell you my thoughts on the actual using this tool. So uh, we'll see what happens then. Bye-bye.